So here, Super Move 2018, uh, Chaos Devices or XAOC. I get pulled on the pronunciation all the time. But um, new modules, uh, how's it going? It's going great. I'm matching for Chaos Devices, Stomach. And we are really excited to show you our new modules. One of them was three years in the making, but actually, actually this is the first real additive uh, synthesis oscillator in uh, modulars ever, I think. Yeah, Correct me if I'm wrong. It's <laughs> over 500 partials, so yeah. that's kind of proper additive synthesis, not yeah. just a few harmonics. Yeah, it looks huge, sounds huge, and technically it's huge in every <laughs> parameter. <laughs> So it's not so huge. It's only 24 HP. So, <laughs> well, start, but the price really won't be huge, <laughs> actually. Ah, brilliant. Well, okay. let's let's have a look and walk us through the features. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I will switch it on. Okay. You start just with the fundamental, and uh, with this knob, you can add the partials to the sound really okay and uh, there are some like micro parameters to tweak the sound so the tilt will uh, change the amplitude of the harmonics so each one will be lower in volume and it will sound a bit like a low pass filter And these three knobs uh, works as a comp filter. It's not a comp filter per se, because uh, it's work just on the harmonics, not the filter them. Uh, like so, there is no like, for example, digital delay line in, in there. Just the original sine waves uh, uh, producing the sound. There, they are loaded in volume, so you can change the density of the tubes of the filter change the distribution of this tooth uh, so they will be spread differently with the warp uh, and with the picking uh, change the width of the of the uh, of the tooth uh, you have uh, two individual outputs for even and odd harmonics and the third one for the fundamental and with these two knobs you can divide them in the groups uh, of different lengths. Now we have mono signal, so the effect is not heard really well. But with this one, you can change the divisions or multiplication of the frequency in the groups. So this two can work for the serial effect or just like uh, two quasi different uh, wave shapes. Uh, with the tension, you can also change the spread uh, different spaces between the harmonics so, so to obtain more metallic and more like uh, I don't know more glassy sound with this uh. okay I know that it's maybe not the best sound now <laughs> and um, it is uh, kind of polyphonic because you can choose from one two or one, three or five voices which can be detuned here for the really nice uh, unisona effect. And uh, if you are, if it, it is not enough, uh, you have a liner true zero FM. So if I use another one, you can have really, really deep FM, or even if you want, you can just self patch this and do some really, really crazy stuff. So, uh, I, I, I hope I didn't forget about anything. Uh, there is control voltage over each of the parameters. Uh, so there is really lots of tweaking here. And uh, here you have also the spectrogram, which is showing you the power of the 
group of the harmonics, so the red is uh, the strong harmonic. So you always really know what, what is happening uh, uh, here. It is uh, really useful because you can have a really sub-audio uh, fundamental, so you still see that there is a strong signal under the audio range, for example. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, this is Odessa. And another new module is Zadar, which is, uh, which is called by us Envelope Generator. And it is like uh, a bit of companion to Batumi because it, uh, there is four channel of uh, envelope. But it's really not an envelope. You can use this as an envelope because the starting points are uh, like uh, vector shapes. Uh, okay. It's a bit like a wavetable, but uh, oh, maybe I will not start the technical data details uh, to not bo be too much boring. Uh, but you can deform this, uh, these shapes. So this, uh, they are just starting points for your envelope. It's not like a really it's a, a bit uh, like a presets and things like this, but uh, you can really do lots of stuff with this. You can invert the shape. Oh, here you can select uh, one of the channels and uh, change the length of them from less than one millisecond up to half an hour. Uh, it's going to be great for percussion synthesis. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so there is even a shape of the 808 kick, so okay. <laughs> I hope so. And here you see the attenuation of the output. Uh, these are the deformation to parameters, response and warp. Really everything is uh, on, on these four knobs, so there are n n not much of uh, hidden parameters. Yeah. There is a small menu, but uh, most of them is here. Here you can change the behavior of the uh, retrigger. This is a really small <laughs> uh, letters that showing you that it behave like analog envelopes. So that after the reset, it will start from the point where it was reset, or yeah. in the digital type, it will be like uh, reset to, to zero, zero, and uh, start from from this. And <clears throat> So it gives you two really different flavors of uh, resetting. Okay, so uh, we can go to the menu. Here is a page uh, to distribute uh, vo control voltages because uh, there are four assignable inputs, and uh, you can you have a ten inverters to set the level of incoming uh, voltage, and here you can choose the parameters in each of the envelope, which be which will be uh, controlled by the voltage. Next page is uh, for setting a chain of, uh, of the envelopes. So here is like an algorithm of the chain. You can chain just two of them, three, and uh, so on. And you can change uh, and loop them, for example. Yeah. So the, the chain will be looped. Uh, each of the, each next envelope don't, uh, don't st start just on the end of the first one, but it can be shift in the face. Uh, so you can uh, trigger the chain, have uh, your first envelope, in the half of the first envelope, uh, the second one start if you set it for, for this. And uh, so this change, is the, the chain is not like the first one, then the second one, then third they one. They can overlap. It, 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 they can overlap, yes. And uh, the loop uh, set the a number of repetition of the envelope. So the first one can be repeated like four, five times, and then the second uh, one will start. It is uh, useful also if you don't set the chain, because uh, you can just trigger once uh, the envelope, and it will be repeated five times, for example. Yeah. And uh, in the chain, it can, can give you really, really complex shapes when the, each envelope is uh, uh, differently repeated and things like this. So and what's the frequency range that this works on? Can it go up into audio rates as well? It can go into audio range, uh, not really, really high, but uh, it bass is really more, more, not not only bass lines, really much uh, all, all, all useful. Well. Also. Nothing that's for the bats. 
<laughs> but uh, really, it, it can go high. Uh, we, you can use this as a wavetable oscillator. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I, that's I'm, I'm trying. I'm that. trying the, the don't say, say I don't say this uh, because uh, it, it isn't really crazy stable because still it's just an uh, envelope and modulator. But it's really nice uh, wavetable wavetable oscillator if you want and. Uh, are not uh, really picky about uh, tuning because uh, you, if you won't have a volt per, per octave, you need to set this just uh, for a half of this because it's like two volts per octave. Uh, okay, but so you can scale it. Yes. Uh, okay, so these are the two pages of menu. Last one is just for the preset. preset. So. If you set each of the channel, you can save this as a preset and uh, recall if you need this, uh, when you need this. Uh, you can also choose the default uh, preset. There is n n any, not any one, not, not even not one uh, uh, saved preset now. Uh, it's only the first one, which is DF, so it's default preset. So yeah. if you want, start the other with uh, presets for example, yeah. you just sit, set this as a default. Uh, so roughly when are these two modules going to be ready to release? Uh, I shouldn't sort of tell this, but uh, because uh, these are the are last, 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 last prototypes really, but okay. we have some uh, software tweaking. Uh, but I hope we will start the production in a month, uh, so hopefully in the middle of holidays they will be in shops. Okay. Well, let's um, we'll swap over some cables and we'll get some stereo audio. Okay.